welcome to Amy's Vlogs here in Germany. It's a nice spring, sunny day here in Germany. It's getting warmer, so today I'm going to plant these beauties in my garden. Do you know what are these? These are lavender and they really smell good. Plus I love the color. So I'm going to look for a spot for these lovelies later in my garden. I cannot put them quite close to our lounging area because they're bee magnets. Bees like them. So I'm going to put it further there in the backyard, a little bit further. And I have my vegetable and flower seeds ready. So this week I'm going to plant some more. Anyway, for those who checked my videos, who watched my videos, subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot, guys. And for those who are interested, how do I live here in Germany? How do we do that here? And who wants to see how does it look like here in my area and in the neighboring cities, please check my channel and click like and subscribe and please leave me a comment. So that's it. Today I'm going to, I'm going to show you some more of my spring videos because I love spring. So last week I showed you already where are the spots where you can go every spring here in Germany, especially sa mga kababayan ko who are living here, especially in the North, North, North Rhine-Westphalia. Yeah, that's our struggle here. If we speak different languages, nabubulol po kami. <laughs> it's not easy to, um, how do you call that? To shift languages. So, nabubulol pa kami. See? Nabubulol po kami. <laughs> yep, anyway, I'm going to show you some more of my spring videos today here in the Eiffel National Forest Park. And I hope you like it. Please check this out, guys. Last weekend, my family and I went to the countryside and looked for wildflowers and fruit trees in full bloom like apple trees, pear trees, cherry trees, and you can find them in the countryside, especially in the farmlands. So we brought our son with us and his bike and we let him ride his bike around so that the kid can enjoy nature and have fun. are doing and all the others are coming <laughs> they're so cute I saw the black sheep one two three four Don't run because if you run, they will also run. They are. Mm. One thing I like about spring here is they plant a lot of canolas because you can sell them for cooking oil and then canola oil can also be processed into biofuel so that's why many farmers choose to plant canolas in their fields in their farms and it's really amazing it's beautiful to see fields and hills covered by canola flowers that's why i like roaming around from spring to summer here in germany Aside from canolas, we passed by also some fruit trees like apple tree, pear, cherry trees and they're in full bloom. And in times like this, it makes me feel 
blessed. I feel grateful to see all of these things, the wonders of nature. So that's why I love spring. Cherry trees. And there's the moon. Then came the sunset, my most favorite time of the day, when the sun kisses the mountains. It makes me a little bit poetic, but of course, it's the most romantic time of the day, so I can't help it. And it always tells me that a new day is coming. So, there's new hope and a new chance to live, a new chance to chase our dreams. So that's why I love sunsets, because it always gives me the signal that the day is about to end and, of course, a new day is coming. On the next day, we decided to go to the other neighboring town. It's also 20 minutes drive away from home, not that far. And I packed a bottle of black tea and marzipan cake and did our tea time on top of the hill. I got so excited when I saw many wildflowers on the ground. I can't name them, I only know daisies, so next time I have to do my research before I get out of my house. <laughs> This is my view for today. From the hilltop, we went down to the river, and my son calls this the Pirate Island. I wonder why he calls that the pirate island because I haven't seen any pirates there. Hmm. Anyway, this river is called the Ruhr River and this is in Kreuzau. I always like going to their rivers here because they are clean. It's just that some people don't know how to take care of nature that they leave their garbage behind. It's too sad that you know nature as beautiful as this. People leave their plastic bottles there Hi it fell I got more annoyed when I saw some more garbage lying on the ground next to the bush and that is not even far from the river and what if all these plastic garbage fall down to the river so what will happen so all my zen flew away after seeing the garbage. 
I had to be in visa for a couple of times and picked up those garbage and put them in the garbage can. Seriously, we have to protect our environment, especially for our children and our grandchildren in the future. So after our short trip in the river, we went on. We went to the other town called Landersdorf because I heard that they have many cherry trees there. And I was amazed because there was one street full of cherry trees and they're all in full bloom. So it was really amazing. that I can only see this in Bonn, which is like more than 40 minutes drive away from our home. It's a little bit further and I am very thankful that we found this street in Landersdorf, full of cherry trees and every spring, of course, it's full of cherry blossoms. So my family and I got off the car, took some pictures and videos because of course, when you see cherry blossoms, who doesn't want to take pictures, right? So, that's another spring vlog here in Germany. I hope that you like it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time. Ciao!